Sony just released their new Link Buds wireless earbuds, which have an interesting design. It's got a little hole in the middle for your ear hole. For all you ear holes out there. And we're gonna be putting them up against some of the other wireless earbuds out there, including the AirPods Pro, the second generation AirPods, and the new Beats Fit Pro. So we're gonna be doing a sound comparison today between all four pairs of these earbuds. Uh, just getting this out the way, nobody sent me any of these. All of these earbuds were bought with my own money, in case you were wondering if this is sponsored at all by any of these companies, it's not, but this video does have a sponsor, and that's Artless.io. And the music that we're gonna be playing today to test out these earbuds is from Artless.io. So the Sonys have an interesting design. Number one, the material feels like like a plastic and a cardboard was blended together. Pretty slippery but there's also a latch on this in case these do slip out of your hands. They're not gonna pop open, but you don't really need to hit this latch to open them up. You can kind of just give them a good tug. They have a very weird design and they don't exactly go inside of your ear. They kind of just sit on the outside of your ear hole, which I don't know how I feel about that. And they do have a little rubber tip that kind of tucks under a curve of your ear to maybe help keep them in a little bit better, but I don't know. My ears are weird. I got one ear hole is bigger than the other. That's why the original AirPods didn't really work for me because they didn't have adjustable rubber tips at the end. So the size that they came had to be the size that works for you. And I know that they didn't really work for a lot of people because they're not custom fit. They just one size fits whoever the hell it fits. All right, let's start this test off right away. We're gonna go to max volume on my iPad here. And we're gonna play a song from Artlist.io. This is a new one by Milano called Lounging Around. First impression, I can clearly hear what I'm saying right now with the music going, which I don't know if I like. And uh, not so much bass at all, really. So first impression right away with, with this first song, bass is lacking a lot. And I have these with their initial settings straight out the box. I didn't EQ anything, I didn't enable any of Sony's modes, which I don't think most people will do. They'll kind of just pair them up with the device and trust that they're supposed to sound their best straight out of box. So that's how I have all these. I'm not gonna tweak or EQ anything here. Next up, let's go over to the Beats Fit Pro, which these pair right up because they have that Apple chip to them. And this is actually my first time using these as well. Let's turn on the noise canceling. The great thing about these is that they have a lot of the same features as the AirPods Pro do. Sorry if I'm talking super loud, I can't really hear myself now because we have noise cancellation on. I feel like I'm speaking pretty normal though. These sound a lot better than the Sony's do. Although these are a little sharp on the high end. A little sharper, they'd be almost hard to listen to. And the bass isn't what I expected from Beats product. Also the case, a little flimsy on the Beats Fit Pro. It's a little flimsy, it's a little side to side wiggle. Feels like the flip screen on the Sony a7S III. Let's throw on the AirPods second gen and then we'll end it off with the AirPods Pro and then we'll switch over to a different genre and see if maybe the Sonys can catch up somewhere else. Get max volume, oh. What a difference, even with the Beats. Even with the Beats Fit Pro, these, AirPods sound way better than the Sony and the Beats so far. So these sound really good. I've always been a fan of AirPods. I mean, it is what it is. You could hate Apple, you could love them. You could be annoyed by the designs that they come out with and you could think these look stupid, but these sound incredible. And we're not even on the Pros yet and the Pros are gonna sound even better. The AirPods 2 actually have a little bit more bass than the AirPod Pros do. Pretty surprised at that too. This is my first time comparing these two. And I thought for sure the Beats were gonna have overall the bassiest sound and they didn't. They actually had the highest, sharpest pitch, 
where the AirPods Pro were kind of in the, perfectly in the middle of the Beats and the AirPods 2. All right, round two, let's switch it up. We're gonna search on Artlist by, should we search with mood? Let's go with dramatic. Let's go with a dramatic feel. Let's start it back up with the Sony Link Buds. Oh man, now after using the AirPods last, right before using these, and just having these sit on the outside, it's it's a weird feel. For me, it's not something I'm used to. I, I, I'm an insert type of guy. Oh, you see, that's why. Oh, I like this. The Sonys did a little better in that category because there was absolutely no drums or no bass whatsoever to worry about. With that being said, they still came in last place. They are by far the lowest. If you like to just drown everything out and pump some of your favorite music and blow your eardrums out, these will not be doing that for you. All right, for this last one, let's search by video theme. Yeah, let's go with vlog and commercial and bus it sounds about right we're gonna give sony a chance to redeem themselves the great thing about artless.io number one the quality of the music on artless is just incredible and the way you could search for what you're looking for is great maybe you're about to edit a wedding or a documentary or well, they have two sections for you right here that say wedding and documentary so you don't have to spend three four hours searching for the perfect song for your project they did all the work for you, it's all categorized. Instead of video theme, maybe you just have a mood in mind. You're, you're looking for a, a certain type of feel to match up with your footage. Maybe you have something dramatic, something sad. Well, you come on over to mood. You have uplifting, epic, powerful, exciting, happy, funny, carefree, hopeful. Literally any type of mood that you can muster up and feel, they'll have a matching music for it. It's incredible. You could sort for instrumentals, you could sort for songs with vocals, you could sort for songs with male vocals or female vocals. On top of the best royalty-free music, they also have the best royalty-free sound effects library that I've ever used in my life. It's just, it, it doesn't end, it just keeps going. It's just sounds of all different types of things that you never even thought that you would need a sound for. They, they have it, it's here. You can get unlimited music and sound effects starting at $9.99 a month, which is a steal, if you ask me. And if you use the link in the description below, you'll get an extra two free months added to your subscription. Don't forget to check them out. That's artless.io. Again, link in the description below. Thank you, Artless, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with these tests. <laughs> The tests have been pretty consistent the entire way through. These are my girlfriend's AirPods. These are my basically my first time listening to all of these besides the AirPods Pro. If the normal AirPods, the free ones that come with your iPhone, if those fit your ears good and you're happy with the fit of those, then these are probably the best buy because you're getting the loudest of all of these, just barely louder in my opinion than the AirPods Pro, just barely. But you're getting a bassier sound with this, but it's still clear, they sound really great. The AirPods Pro for me have the best overall sound because the clarity is there. These have clearer highs and clearer mids. So in first place, I'm still gonna give it to the AirPods Pro, a close second coming in with the AirPods 2. And third place is gonna be Beats and these Sonys. I'm sorry, if, if it's for maybe conference calls, you take a lot of phone calls all throughout the day, you don't really listen to music. 
then I would say maybe the Sony's are a good choice for you. But overall, if you're gonna be doing any type of like going to the gym or anything like that to where you want music, I would, these would be, not only do they just not fit that well, they kind of just rest on the outer skirts of your ear, but they, they don't sound that great either. So I root for Sony, but not, not today I don't. I, I don't lie to people. And I can't just say that this is a good product. This is not a good product. Very, very sorry. Don't forget we got Tees and Lutz in the link down below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you all this for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helps somebody save some money somewhere and pick the right product for them. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.